lights are on and racing. So there goes Dave Oliver. Let's see you later. He's lucky he gets a good start that time. Slots into about sixth place. Oh, and a couple of riders starting to come in around the outside of him there as they head their way back up over the uh, the hill and under the bridge. So back around they go. Down into gum trees. Oh, Dave Oliver, a little bit of a back end slide there as he par you know, hard under brakes into turn four, but hangs onto it and moves away. So they head their way down into Siberia. Looks like Clint Clark after his uh, drama weekend slots up into second place. He's, he's had a few issues throughout. Had to drive back to Brisbane to pick parts up last night to come back and now he's doing very well. A couple of little niggly problems throughout the, uh, the day today. But good to see him out here for this final sprint race. So back down through the uh, the far section of the circuit they go now through turns nine and into Kangaroo Corner as they uh, all start to file through and see how they uh, they fare as uh, they head their way back around onto the Pirelli front straight away but they uh, now go through um, Kangaroo Corner now leaders are up here on the straight already as they go through and uh, Clint Clark still holds on to second place Ethan Olden third Lee Holmes goes through Taylor Ralph Anthony Carroll Mark Gordon up into seventh place there now so he's uh, made a couple of places as he comes around oh runs right up on Carroll there now as he goes underneath the bridge looks for the line moves to the inside and Mark Gordon picks up on Anthony Carroll but Carroll fighting back now as they go down through gum trees so very close between those two and Mark Gordon another bike right on his tail here he goes around the outside there of Carroll so some nice dicing going on midfield and it looks like someone else has just slipped up on him a couple of the other uh, 250 runners now as they make their way back up into the left hander at seven so uh, Mark holds onto his position there at the moment as they go through Cox and uh, head their way down into the fast section. But still Dave Oliver out there in the lead. He's uh, had a fantastic weekend. Clint Clark, fastest lap of the race on the opener. Yeah, 127 there from Dave. So we'll definitely see the, uh, the time start to, uh, to come down. As he heads his way down the front straight away, Clint Clark goes through. So first, second and third pretty well spread out. And uh, where the dicing is is for the minor places at the moment. So it's still Ethan Olden there in third. Lee Holmes and Taylor Ralph fourth and fifth place. Mark Gordon still there in sixth place. And uh, he's got Kieran McGowan all over him behind at the moment. As McGowan tries to slip up the inside, but... Mark Gordon there trying to be as wide as a block of flats on wheels at the moment. These little 250s are fairly nimble down into the braking area. They go now. McGowan has a look up the inside and makes the pass at turn four. I'd say the power of the SV650 should uh, pick him back through here. And he does so nicely there for, for Lucky into the braking area. McGowan around the outside once again of Mark Gordon as they come through turn uh, six and then into the left hander at seven so it's pretty close he's got riders all around him there that's a great dice going on there for the minor places I'm pretty sure that is for sixth seventh and eighth place at the moment Anthony Carroll right in amongst it all too right on uh, Mark's tail as they go down through that far section of the circuit and uh, we'll see what happens as they uh, head their way down through Kangaroo Corner? Our first three, well, they're pretty well decided already, I think. They've still got like three laps to go. And uh, coming on to the straight there in fourth place. And that's Lee Holmes. And I've said it a few times throughout the day, he's had a great day. Look at this side by side stuff there from uh, Mark Gordon. And um, is that Simon, Simon Dixon? That's all right. I'm just knocked my chair over. So uh, they come around. So 
Mark Gordon right on uh, Simon Dixon's tail now as they start to uh, get on with it and make their way down into Gumtree's corner. The train goes through on the number four bike. But I'm uh, still keen to see how this battle goes between the, uh, the old and the new, the little or the big, whatever you want to call it. But um, they are going very well. It's like he's just picked up another spot and heading his way back around. So these uh, 250s are, are fairly nimble bikes, that's for sure. So our race leaders now down through the, uh, the fast section of the circuit. Next time around they'll have two laps remaining in this Formula 3 class, proudly sponsored by Ray Clacker. Two laps remain now as Dave Oliver comes down the front straight away. Still there is uh, Clint Clark in second place. These two have really started to get on with it now. And it's still Ethan Olden a little bit way back there in third place. Lee Holmes in fourth who is catching. Oh, crash up here on the hill. And that is Clint Clark has gone down in a big way. He seems to be okay. He's gone into the ash. So just trying to get himself out from under the bike. He's okay. He's up onto his feet. He is not happy with himself, but uh, he'll just walk away. A little bit dazed and confused there. So a front-end lose from Clint Clark. He's quite okay. What a bad luck weekend he has had. But anyway, we go back to the race now. And we'll see what happens with only a couple of laps remaining there now. So the rest of the riders head their way through. Clint, uh, Clint Clark quite okay, just taking the helmet off there now. And uh, what a bad luck weekend. He worked so hard to get that thing back out here today. And uh, he was definitely on the pace. Radio, last lap board is out now, so we go back to the race. Dave Oliver out there in the lead, so that'll put Ethan Alden um, up into second place. A long, long way back there is Ethan. So third place now will go to Taylor Ralph. Lee Holmes there in fourth place. Kieran McGowan, Simon Dixon. And Mark Gordon goes through now. Lucky moves up in the seventh play. Oh, another one. A big crash down there at turn one. Oh, I think that might have been Gary Dixon. Well, no, Kieran McGowan. He's up onto his feet. The bike cartwheels through that uh, turn. He is quite okay. Oh, gosh. Action-packed Formula 3 race. So they go through, that was right in front of Mark Gordon, so he'll probably get some pretty good footage off the GoPro on that one. So it's all happening out there at the moment. Kieran picks the bike back up. He is uh, okay, but it did do a couple of cartwheels. I think he'll have to just push that away. He's doing the right thing, trying to get it off the, uh, the side of the circuit there. So a little bit of bad luck, and look at this, Dave Oliver. Massive will stand down the front straight away to take the win there. Great stuff for uh, Dave. Second place coming across the line, and uh, that'll be Ethan Alden. So they are a fair way back there now as uh, Ethan Alden. He comes onto the straight now. And look at this, it's going to be another close finish. Ethan Alden, and then Taylor will take uh, uh, third place. Great finish there for Taylor. Fourth place in there will be uh, Lee Holmes on the 35 bike. A great weekend there for him.